last step we will look at maps in Java, how to generate those from um, from Papyrus. And that's not as straightforward because these are of course a specific type and additionally they, they take two input parameters. So they have two generic parameters, template parameters. They have the key and the value. Um, and this is the first time you actually will have to mess with the eCore file here because this is in a way a platform specific uh, information for use for the generation then. So it's something you have to annotate in the eCore file. But let's start. Let's say the, the patient record should have a map of integers mapped to prescriptions, for example, for whatever reason. Um, and what we do for that is we create a new class actually. We say that this is our um, what did I say? Integer to prescription map entry. So it's one entry. Um, and I well, I can generally call this whatever I want, but it's of course nicer if I later recognize what this should be. Um, and the important thing is that it has a key and it has a value. So I add two properties here, and I call them key and value. So I say key, and key is supposed to be an integer. Um, and now it's important we generate a Java map, and map takes classes as input parameters, so I can't take uh, the primitive type here. If I choose the primitive type, I'll get compiler errors, so I need to choose integer object in this case. Um, and I have my value, and value I, in this case, point to my prescription. I could here, as discussed earlier, I could do this. I could also remove this and draw an arrow with a one multiplicity to prescription. It's the, it means the same thing. But for these types, because they are sort of on the side, I usually prefer to just do it like this, and then I can hide them somewhere in the diagram. Um, <clears throat> now my patient record should should have a map means it has many of these entries uh, and again I can draw an association I will do it with an association here but I could also add a property uh, so I say I want to have not one of them but I would like to have many zero to many uh, and this will be my the name of my map and that's a bit overkill maybe this name so I'll say this is my uh, my map as easy as that uh, this is actually all I do here so now I reload my gen model as before. And I say generate model code. And I won't get a lot, of course. I get this class, which has no surprises really. It has a key and it has a value, integer and prescription. Um, and if I go into my patient record, I also won't see that much. I will get a list of these entries. And that's not what I want. I would like to have a map. Um, and now, as I said, you will have to change the eCore file. So this is the first time you open this one. Um, and you see this entry here. And what you have to do, the only thing you have to do is to say that the instance type name, so basically what I what I generate later on is java util dot map. But it's not map because we talk about one entry, but it's one map entry. And in Java, that basically is dollar sign, uh, if I find it, entry. And now, if I regenerate, it should look different, but I think I still did something wrong. We'll see. So if I go into my patient record, I said, I always forget where I put my objects then something is still a bit messed up. But it, it already looks a little bit better. I already have my map entries. Um, the only thing I, I need to change, and that's something I forgot, is that I have to set the aggregation here to composite. And honestly, I don't know why, but this is what you'll have to do. Um, and now you see one annoyance here. I've changed my, my papyrus diagram. I want to reload the model here, my gen model. Uh, and what will happen is that it overrides this. So this is something that you have to do whenever you change or whenever you reload your GAN model, you have to do these changes again. Uh, that's why it's really, if you have a lot of them, 
it's it's good to do, don't do this too often. Uh, and now you see it worked. So now I have a map of integer and prescriptions, and I can work with this. So basically, this means for every type of a map, for every key value combination, integer prescription in this case, you will have to create a new data type, a new class, uh, and then create an attribute. If I want to have another, for example, if I want to say my prescription should also have a map, then I can reuse the same class. So I can add a, I can do the other version here, I add a property here. I add the right type. This time I also set the composite directly and I add the multiplicity zero to many. Uh, check that everything is correct. It looks good. I reload my GAN model. I modify the entry here. And now, of course, I only have to do this in one place because it's only the, the class, the type that I have to modify. So even though I have two maps, they are of the same type, and I only have to do the modification in one place. Uh, I generate my model. I have my map in my patient record, but I should also have it in my prescriptions.